Hello friends, today I'm going to uh, show you how we can report all job status to the client when our shift changes. Okay, uh, here I already done the video and the script is also available in this uh, Mediafire link. Uh, the why I'm doing this is like one of the user has requested us to include the server name in the shift and uh, in the script as well so that uh, how we can do this and what are the consequences and I will show you everything why because in the subject line here I told you that um, for example if you are not uh, if I see here uh, just wait uh, so here like I used to get like this DB mail uh, daily monitor support okay okay so now we we are not sure that okay for example if i have configured job monitoring for two or three servers and if i used to get uh, mails like that how come i know for these are the jobs got failed in the on which server so that is one consider if for that we can mention uh, mention the subject line uh, here as well i will show you one by what are the other alternatives that what have if for main file uh, like uh, if you I mean if you are not much familiar like simple uh, i will show you the simple way okay and like uh, we'll see this is the showed procedure okay what uh, it is there uh, that so now what is the email id and okay and i forgot to add here so this is my email id this is my profile name okay so here what i can do report of uh, what is my instance name Lenovo monitor of from for Lenovo Renov for report of Lenovo instance now instead of that come here now type here or alter done execute so that is done now if I go here and click execute see now if i see here see i have to get the now by seeing this by seeing this report we can get to know this is that but here the problem here is uh, if i have got uh, if i used to install this script in multiple servers so every time every time i used to change this line i used to change that line if it, it is one server then it's well and good if not i used to change uh, something like that only so the uh, if it is one server it is okay if not i don't recommend this way and what is another way uh, like we need to build the uh, st uh, dynamic uh, uh, statements using um, variables where the where the where are the variables yeah now here i am see i am taking this only now if i build the statement directly i can use this here right so what i will do i am removing this one i am taking this i am just taking one variable here so now 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 copy set at the rate is equal to what is the server name how we need to dot there of that server name that's it now you just uh, copy this line here and you can just put it there here that's it i uh, just very cool now click execute it is done now come back and ex click execute now go and Now I got this one. What Lenovo? Why I get like that? Oh. I changed it in this way, right? Sorry, this is my mistake. So I you in the subject. Okay, now I click execute and I'm here, done it. Now go and see.
so now come here so i got the it's lenovo so here are here as well if i get like this uh, i don't know like uh, whenever it could be like i don't know what is it until unless we see this right so now what i need to do uh, now come here now we need to build the dyna we, we need to concatenate this thing so uh, daily job monitor report okay so this thing i need to double quotations report of something okay now execute done again come back click execute uh, just refresh it yeah i got that okay see daily monitor of this this was fetching i need some space right you can just uh, just uh, come back again see this is how you need to uh, do the, okay as over modifications so you know what's a requirement does you want so that uh, edit the code test the code deploy once everything go and then uh, remove that why it is facing below okay, otherwise what i will do i will uh, that's it so that i uh, will get some difference now so now see i got this report daily job monitor report of lenovo so that's how i used to get this is the one one of what another thing you need server name in the table as well if what the requirement another requirement is if we run this job in multiple servers at that time we don't get all of this uh, servers name what is the server name right so there is a possibility that what he requested right that some uh, so he want to add the server name as well that that is dynamically so now what you need to do for he come here uh, as of now i'm just uh, i will take this another use case as well uh, how we need to run all this uh, data in the power uh, uh, multiple servers and get the report so as of now i will show you how we can include so now what i will do i am getting server name so if i don't use alias name see i used to get this error see uh, here okay so now i will so i will just i will show you i'm saying here comma so if i don't do that see i use no column was specified so always for that we need to specify here um, alias names like this no now i just server name okay that is done now where i need to include that here i need to include just copy this and paste it here and what is the name now just copy this name and paste it here what is done now come here again this is one here i need to do it is the change uh, just copy this line and paste it above now here you need to use um that's okay here i need to use inverted single inverted comma here i need to use server name server name that's it done come here everything was done so everything is good now click execute this is also done okay now so now come here again i execute this script that is done now go back and refresh so i got this this is done somewhere i missed it somewhere i missed it so that's the reason i used to get uh, like this 
So in the place of server name, I use the none, okay, no issues. Uh, we'll see. So here I missed it, okay. So now copy this. Same thing, I forgot to in, uh, include that HTML's names and everything. Copy, paste it. Okay, here I need to add press symbol. That's everything went uh, right. Click execute. Now come here and uh, refresh it. Done. Refresh it. Now I got this. See, I got the report as it is. Lenovo and all Lenovo and home and the next run rate, everything is uh, went success. Previously it was like this, next run rate and now it was like this. It means what the achievement will be, uh, what, what you want to achieve uh, for the subscriber uh, use case, we achieved it. Okay, so now we will see uh, how we need to run this script for on multiple servers so how we used to get like this instead of getting this email uh, for seeing each configure okay we can uh, we can run up whenever we want to get the status so i will show you that as well in next video so i hope uh, you may like this video i'm going to comment this uh, total script what i have edited in this comment box i'm going to pin to under this video as well I hope you may like this video. Thank you. Bye.